been just over 10 years since Diana Nyad, with the support of her friend, coach, and expedition leader Bonnie Stoll, inspired the world, completing a 35-year-old dream of swimming 111 miles from Havana, Cuba to Key West, Florida in just under 53 hours. The pair of world-class athletes continue to inspire their nonprofit EverWalk, working to spark a worldwide revolution of walking with a purpose. This Sunday, March 21st, EverWalk will host the Nyad Ocean Walk, a 10K walk in Santa Monica to reduce single-use plastic. And with more on Sunday's walk, we are so excited to have Diana Nyad and Bonnie Stoll. Welcome. Thank you. Alex Marler, thank you so much. And congratulations on your marathon. Stop Fifth it. one, right? Stop Fifth it. one. Stop it. Yeah. Yeah. She's, under, she's already making it about you. I know. <laughs> yeah. It is such an honor to have you both thank here. You. I yeah. cried like a baby watching your movie. Oh, it was so good. Yes. One of my favorite movies yes. of the year. Seriously? We encourage everybody to watch yeah. it on yeah. Netflix. We're so Seriously. proud. We're so proud. Oh, yeah. my gosh. We'll obviously talk about the movie in a second, but let's talk about you and the walk and what you got going sure. on this Sunday in Santa Monica. He mentioned this is for single-use pollution plastic use to reduce Coalition. that what's it all about what's happening on sunday yeah yeah well we, you know we fell in love with the blue planet out in the ocean and when we finished um we started a, a walking initiative called everwalk and we've walked all over the united states different sort of uh, longer walks like whole long weeks but this sunday it's just six miles so a lot of people can do it, and it's in the name of reducing single-use plastics in our lives. You know, don't have that little bottle and throw it into the landfill. Into, it's going to go in the ocean eventually. It's going to go in our body, some of it also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pl pl Plastics are, you know, one of the dangers to planet Earth right now, including our own health. So um, that's what Sunday's Walk's all about. So say I'm interested in showing up and doing this. Where do I go? How do I do this? You go to everwalk.com <laughs> and register. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. It's that yeah. simple. It's yeah, that it's, simple. it's free Because we can tell you all the where's the parking, where's the... But better yeah. just... And people need to register, not to show up. So sure. tell them to go to everwalk.com. They'll see it easy. They'll register. And then and we're, we're going to be... Uh, we're going to have a big poster of the movie <laughs> <laughs> while we're there. So people can take selfies with us. So it's going to be fun. And there's a guy, a wonderful guy named Michael Schneider, yeah. who, who leads a big walk called the Great Los Angeles Walk. The so Saturday... We, before Thanksgiving every yeah. year. And, he, and it goes from downtown to the beach and it's a different it's a different uh, way to go each year and he tells you where to stop if you want this to eat or that to eat or this to drink. It's it's fun. So mm -hmm. he's our third host this week. It's, oh, fun. it's Everwalk and the Plastic Pollution oh, Coalition and the Great Los Angeles Walk. We're we're all three together this weekend. This sounds like so much fun. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, let, let's talk also about the movie because we just had the Oscars, yeah. right? And you guys got to go. We did. Yeah, we did. We what, all... what was that Oscar experience like, Bonnie? <laughs> Different. <laughs> Different. Yeah. You know, once in a lifetime for for us. So it was, it was uh, the, the whole experience from start to finish with all the festivals and all the parties was humbling, honoring, just. Fabulous. Uh, yeah. You both and look you beautiful think, yeah. as we're looking at you the know, picture of Oscar night. Honestly, oh, well, goodness. You look good, you know, Diana. Usually we're in bathing suits <laughs> and shorts. So, yeah, as a matter of fact, you'd find it funny when the wardrobe woman first called us. She had just finished. It wasn't the crown, something but like it was it. something like that. All, all the women's dresses were as big as this table. The men's suits were like, <laughs> yeah. and she said, well, I guess I'm not going to win any, any awards for this movie. <laughs> you know. But honestly, the movie, Bonnie uses the right words. It was humbling and, and uh, just honoring. And we can't believe um, what what really it's all about is that th we are hearing from literally thousands of people all around the world. Uh -huh. My story was out there. It's a real story. But the movie yeah. took it to a better level. People are inspired to yeah. be the best they can be. Mm -hmm. You know, and even just, you know, a man wrote us who has just been diagnosed with Parkinson's. And he, he can't do what he used to do. But he said, I'm not going to give up on being the best I can be every day, whatever that is. Well, what yeah. could mean more to well, us? And, and Annette Benning and Jodie Foster. Yeah. Oh, so on. fantastic. Yeah. Both of them lucky. nominated for Oscars for this as well. And I would imagine also the fact that it is on Netflix, it is so accessible to yeah, people yeah, too. Yeah. Anybody could watch it tonight if they, they haven't could. seen it yeah. yet. Yeah. They, right? they could. Why don't the four of us have a yeah. little watching yeah. party together, <laughs> yeah. please? But, yeah. but Netflix is very yeah. proud of the film yeah. and it, it's, it's killing worldwide. And, it's killing. And they've been very good to us. And your relationship yeah. with Annette Benning yeah. and, and Jody. Jody Foster. Yeah. Yeah. It's tight. We're good friends. We always will be. And they brought they brought a commitment to this movie, you know? Can, can I just talk about the fact that you told me, I didn't ask, but you said, and we could look it up, that you're 74 years old. Yeah. 
Yes, uh, yes, uh, you had to bring that up, I, I guess. I did, right? because you look absolutely amazing. And Bonnie's only a couple okay, years behind Okay, we don't have to me. talk about me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but just physically, you are just a beacon of health and fitness. Yeah. And going through what you went through, how do you endure that? Yeah. Well, I mean, that uh, that swim was, you know, as you mentioned in your intro, it's 35 years. I tried it first when I was 28 years old, but I did hold a number of records around Manhattan Island, uh, Capri de Napoli, across Lake Ontario in the open ocean. I was one of the better swimmers in the 70s, um, but this swim was the Holy Grail. It's the toughest swim on the planet. They call it the Mount Everest of the Earth's oceans. And a lot of people don't know that Bonnie and I, our story's interesting. When I retired from swimming, when I was 30, Bonnie was then number three on the professional racquetball tour when racquetball was the big sport in the United States and I became her coach. 35 years later we flipped around wow. and I became the athlete and she became the coach. Bonnie what do you think <laughs> your story can teach all of us about friendship? Loyalty. Aww. Loyalty and you know it's it's amazing that um, the person that inspires me the most is also my best friend. Mm. Mm. And I, I, that's, that's, I don't think that's normal, but it's the way it is. We have, we, you know, it's, it's 43 years old at this point. Mm. And Diana, what has Bonnie taught you? Well, just picture this, first of all. 53 hours, I'm breathing 53 times a minute to the left. Not to mention all the training swims, which you would understand. 14 hours one day, 16 hours. What about the four attempts we didn't make it? 51 hours. I'm breathing to the left, and what do I see? Bonnie. Mm. Mm. That's all I see. Mm. I, you know, there's not much audio visual input as you go. And that's, that's my soldier who will never leave me. She's there to make every tough decision, help me find my grit if I've lost my way. Mm. And so this has been a, almost a lifetime of doing this together. Yeah. How often do you still get in, in the water? You know, I've, I've really become addicted to tennis now. Oh, <laughs> nice. And Bonnie's, uh, I told you about her racket okay. sports. She's far better than I am, but you I'm... play doubles together? I'm in, we do, and I'm, yeah. I'm into it. How long are you in town? When are we going to get together? <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. We live here. You play we tennis? Live you live here? Yeah, we live yes, here. Yes, I talk about that in the movie. Oh, yeah, my yeah. gosh. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we live here. So we're playing tennis, you know, almost every day. It's fantastic. And uh, I, I, she's getting worse and worse because she's playing with me, no. and I'm getting better and better because I'm playing with well, her. Well, she plays about eight hours a day. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Here's what I loved about the movie. Yeah. I think so many, especially Oscar movies, yeah. are like really weird uh -huh. and all these sort of con concepts that are hard to follow yeah. and yeah. very artistic. Yeah. But your movie is just like a great movie. Yeah. It's real people, really inspiring thing that happened. A, a beginning, middle, and end, yeah. a story of triumph, a good, you know, and it just makes you feel good about humanity, makes you feel better about yourself, yeah. it teaches you about friendship, and I, I loved it. And I hope everybody will watch it tonight Thank if they you. haven't seen it already. Thank you so, so much. We, and, and it'd be fun to come. I want to come out on Sunday. The Nyad really? Ocean Walk really cool. okay. is Sunday great. at okay. 8 a.m. We're looking for you. In Santa Monica. Register at flipcause.com. You can learn more about all the good work that Everwalk does at everwalk.com as well. Thank you. This is such a treat. Yeah. Thank, Thank you both so much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you.